Hi people, it's you here on your screen again. How are you all doing? I'm so happy to be on your screen and I'm sure you're happy to see me as well. Thank you. Uh, today, I'll be teaching you this. I am very, very sure you will like it. Can you see? Can you see the hat? The hat is fine, right? Maria hat. It is M-A-R-I-E. I'm very sure you will enjoy the class. I'm sure that you will like it. So please don't go anywhere. Let's quickly do this today. Thank you. So we've measured this band. This is what will go around the head point, please. You understand? So that is my head circumference is 22. So if I wanted to be a bit loose, make it 23 and a half. You get but the next thing I'm going to do is to place you place this round one. See me. this particular stage we are now very very important. So just place the circle like this. I mean this band. You place it like this hmm? on the, the breast pad. Now trace it out with either pen or pencil. Trace it from the inside. So, the next thing is just to trace the circle huh? Please don't add allowance. So, when cutting the circle, please don't add allowance. Please, 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 please. Don't add allowance. So. Remember that the band that we cut then it was 23 and a half because my head circumference is 22 so i told us that we just add one and a half allowance to it to make it 23 and a half so that's the band you are seeing right now the breast pad i'm trying to measure where it's going to overlap the first one will be 0 0.5 that is half inch while the second one will be one inch or almost one inch like 0 0.8 this particular one is 0 0.8 the first one is 0 0.5 you can as well make the second one to be one inch if you don't want yours to be 0 0.8 you understand then you apply gum you apply gum at the edges the, the front edge at the back edge just the way i'm doing it right now that's how you are going to do the two so you make sure that you gum it, you overlap it and gum it very well. Yes, can you see the other one? So I've already gummed the second one. Can you see the two of them? Do you like it? So we are moving forward. Yeah, so that is the circle that we cut, the top of the crown that we've cut earlier. So the next thing you're going to do is to grab your fabric. So you measure 6 by 25 in two places. After marking it on your fabric, the next thing you're going to do is to trim it out. So you cut out the, um, the marked area. That is 6 by 25 that you've already marked on your fabric. You cut that out from the fabric. That is what I'm doing right now. I'm marking it. I've already marked it. So the next thing is to use my scissors to trim the marked area out. So I'm doing the cutting right now. Yeah. Hope you are getting it. Hope you are really following. So after cutting it into two, just keep it in, a, in one place and grab your fabric again to cut out two circles from your fabric. And what that breast pad, the circle breast pad, the one we've cut earlier, just apply gum on it, then place it on the fabric. Make sure you double the fabric, then you place that same, that's just one circle, the circle, one circle of... Uh, breast pad you place it on your fabric 
like that then make sure your fabric is folded into two then trace make sure you have um, one inch allowance you mark one inch allowance throughout the you mark one inch allowance around the circle then you trim out your circle you trim it out neatly just the way i'm doing it right now just keep watching the screen though i'm so sorry it may not be that clever you say hey can you see it now so that's how it's going to be and please don't fold it the way i'm doing it now don't fold it in it's different from the mama lisa hat this one is mary hat so the next thing you're going to do is to just grab your um breast pad band the one that we've already overlapped then you want to cover it with our fabric that's what we want to do right now our fabric is four by uh, sorry our fabric is six by 25 while the breast pad is four by 23 and a half before overlapping and i told you earlier that one uh, the uh, while we were overlapping one there was one that we had 0 0.5 allowance there's though that there's this other one that we had 0 0.8 i told you 0 0.8 to one inch you can had 0 0.8 to one inch allowance so on that fabric now make sure you have an allowance to just apply the way i'm applying it now apply the gum at the center that place that you've overlapped on that breast part on that band apply gum on it the way I'm doing it right now. Just look at the screen very well. Watch the screen. So the gum is already there. I've applied the gum there already. So I'm just trying to make the clothes to, I'm just trying to arrange the cloth, the fabric very well on it. So that is how you're going to do it. Then apply the gum again for the other hand of the fabric to, to really sit on that breast pad so once you are done with that apply the gum at the edge of the of the band see the, just watch the screen so you apply the gum here inside here you understand see Round. That's how you want. Not here. Not outside. It's inside the brass pad. That's where you want to apply the gum. You understand? So you apply the gum. So you just keep going like that. You apply the gum all through. Make sure that we tuck it in neatly. Uh, can you see the inside? Yeah, it's very nice. So we're almost done. We're almost done with the crown. You know, heart has crown and brim, so we are, we are still doing the crown. So that's how we're going to do it. Tuck it in neatly and make sure that your work is very neat. So the next thing is to apply gum at the edge of one of the bands because we want to put the circle that we've already we've already covered with fabric so that is what we want to put inside to make that place we want it to sit inside the band so that it will really form a crown you push it in gently can you see the inside very neat very neat job very neat work so and just use your hand to arrange it very well
now we have our crown the next thing is to apply gum inside the crown then place the the other circle that we cut from the fabric use it to cover it up after applying the gum inside the crown just the way i'm doing it right now can you see it after applying the gum inside the uh, inside the crown so i decided to put the uh, uh, fabric inside then make sure it sits well and it should look like this the next thing is to put the other band inside the crown so just apply gum round the band then place it inside you place it inside the crown you place it gently and neatly inside the crown guys the way i'm putting it inside the crown so make sure that the gum really blend with the crown just look at the way i'm doing it and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like and share with your friends can you see it it's almost done yeah so the crown is ready it's time to make our brain first thing we are going to measure is wire 54 inches you cut it with plier just the way i'm doing it now then you will overlap it by two and uh, by two inches you overlap it by two inches then use the thread to tie it or you can use cellophane to join it together to overlap very well so the fabric for the brim will be 52 by 10 by 10 inches 52 inches by 10 inches then fold it into two then you run this you run stitches you make a run you make the running stitches just the way i'm doing it now so you sew it with needle and thread if you have sewing machine you can use sewing machine i decided to use hand needle for better understanding and for people who doesn't have a sewing machine so you can use your hand neatly can you see it can you see that my sewing is neat so the next thing you're going to do is to place the wire in between the material make sure that you leave the needle and thread inside the fabric just use the, the same needle and thread to run the stitches around just the way i'm doing it now Apply the gum at the edge of the crown, then place it on the brim. Can you see where I'm doing it? I'm applying the gum, then you place it on the brim, just like that. You will peg the brim to the crown. Leave it for some minutes. Apply the gum very well, then pin the brim down. After some minutes, remove the pegs. You can as well sew the brim to the crown then design it with flower feathers you know just give it any design of your choice i know you are creative in your own way so just bring out the creativity i'll be waiting to see your design can you see the hat that's the finished product that's the hat i hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and please like and share this tutorial with your friends. I love you so much. You are the best. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you.